Mike points out, most Highland jackets have epaulettes. How do you feel about wearing shirts with epaulettes with a kilt? Is it a cool military style look? Or do you end up looking like a cop or a park ranger or a pilot wannabe? And I would include Boy Scout in <coughs> that. Um, from Mr. Mike Larson. And I apologize for the delay in getting back to you. Um, pilot shirt. That's what I'm wearing today. This one does not have epaulettes. I don't think. No. No. And uh, But that proves a point. I have several that do have epaulettes. I have no problem with it at all. Um, it is definitely a fashion accent that's borrowed from the military. The intersection of the British military with kilts is well known. Uh, goes back throughout the 20th century. Um, so you have plenty of examples historically of military guys and then band guys wearing a military style shirt with epaulettes, with a kilt. It looks fine. I wouldn't worry about it. Yeah. I personally, right now, I kind of prefer without epaulettes, personally. Um, hence this one I'm wearing now. Um, just because I tend to wear my shirts hard, and after a while the epaulettes might look a little wrinkly or something. They look a little 3D, more 3D than I want. Um, but it's nothing wrong with it. You know. Yeah, uh, pretty much the same thing. I don't see any real issue with it. You're not a poser. It's not stolen valor. It's not. You're not trying to pass off something you're not. It's yeah. just a style in the same way a cable knit sweater is a style or a military sweater is a style or mm -hmm. a, you know, a Jacobite shirt is a style. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. So enjoy it. Yep. Yeah. I mean, it, looking like a wannabe comes out, comes when you are trying to put together several details into an outfit in a ham handed way to look like something. Like if you're wearing like uh, pilot's glasses, as well as a pilot's hat, as yeah, well as your or, name tag and right. rings, and or or if you've got or if you got a military shirt <clears throat> and police boots and you know a uh, uh, you know a, a Sam Brown belt or something like that for your kilt belt, then people are going to think, "What is he? Some kind of military guy or something?" I mean, it's context of the other parts of the outfit are going to balance everything out. Yeah, you know what I mean. You can so. fashion borrows. From everything. I mean, yeah. you know, look how long, you know, tartan has been in fashion and being a thing on runways. And, you know, Peter McQueen did it for a long time. And, you know, Vivian Westwood, like all these yeah. fashion icons and, you know, fashion houses or whatever they're called, um, borrow tartan and throw it in, you know, runways. They're not trying to be traditional. That's They're doing their own thing with it. They're borrowing from it. That's how things evolve. Yeah. Um, they're the one, one, Angle on that also would be um, uh, our friend Verlin Hayes. He is uh, very active in the Hayes clan, and he has a kind of a uniform that he uses when he's representing the clan at a festival manning the clan tent, and that includes a military-style military shirt, and he has uh, clan regalia in the outfit, occasionally a little bit of tartan even. I think he's even done, like, collar dog. Or not yeah, collar dogs, not collar dog. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name. Um, Epaulette slides, effectively. Yeah. Um, hey, tartan. What do you call those things? Fruit Loops. No. Fruit Loops is when it's the, the tricolor for the Irish. Okay, but, the, but Irish, the point is he's turned it into something that basically says, I look sharp, I look official, um, and you can talk to me about the clan. I am here to officially represent them. He's also, you know, has a very, very long and proud military history himself. He does. So he more naturally kind of, it, it flows mm -hmm. from his regular yep. life and lifestyle into his Highland dress. Yep. But he's, yeah, Verlon's an awesome dude. Yeah, so go for it. Thank you.